This is the Music History Today podcast for June 20th. On today's show, Michael Jackson releases a double album. Bobby Brown and his former band, New Edition, both release albums on the exact same day. And David Bowie records a classic. First up, though, on this date in 1955, the four lads record their song, Moments to Remember. In 1962, Rick Nelson recorded the song, Teenage Idol. And also on that same day, singer Jane Froman married her husband, Roland Smith. In 1963, the Beatles formed their corporation called Beatles Limited. In 1967, the Buckinghams recorded the song Susan. In 1969, David Bowie recorded the classic song Space Oddity. Also on that same exact day, Jimi Hendrix played at the Newport 69 Pop Festival. In 1970, the Ray Stevens TV show premiered. In 1971, David Bowie headlined England's Glastonbury Music Festival. In 1980, the movie The Blues Brothers, based on a fictional band from a Saturday Night Live skit, opened nationwide. In 1981, Jerry Cott left the Boomtown Rats. In 1986, The Cure headlined England's Glastonbury Music Festival. In 2004, Paul McCartney performed a concert in St. Petersburg, Russia. It was his 3,000th concert performance. In 2004, same day, Tamara Johnson of SWV married football player Eddie George. In 2006, Billy Preston was laid to rest, and in 2007, the Arctic Monkeys headlined England's Glastonbury Music Festival. In award ceremonies that were held on June 20th in 2003, Lionel Richie received his star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame on his birthday. More on that in a minute. Albums that were released on June 20th include in 1966 when the Beatles released Yesterday and Today. In 1969, Cher did a twofer. She released 3614 Jackson Highway and also the soundtrack to her movie Chastity. In 1969, Aretha Franklin released Soft and Beautiful and Otis Redding released Love Man. In 1974, Bob Dylan and the Band released Before the Flood. In 1975, Neil Young released Tonight's the Night. In 1978, Foreigner released their classic Double Vision. In 1980, on the day that their movie opened up, the soundtrack to the Blues Brothers movie was released. Also in 1980, Peter Frampton released Rise Up. In 1985, the Scorpions released Worldwide Live. In 1988, Bobby Brown released his album Don't Be Cruel, while his old group, New Edition, released Heartbreak. Both albums would go on to be huge sellers. In 1988, same day, Chicago released Chicago 19. In 1989, the Allman Brothers Band released Dreams, and the Batman soundtrack was released by Prince. In 1995, Michael Jackson released his double album, History, Past, Present, and Future, Book One. In 1995, same day, Big Audio Dynamite released F Punk, and Dusty Springfield released A Very Fine Love. In 2000, Arian released Universal Migrator Part 1, The Dream Sequencer. The Clarks released Let It Go. And Little Feet released Chinese work songs. In 2006, The Counting Crows released New Amsterdam live at Heineken Music Hall. Guster released Ganging Up on the Sun. Graham Parsons released The Complete Reprise Sessions. Pearl Jam released Live at Easy Street, and Madonna released I'm Going to Tell You a Secret. And in 2011, Weather Report released Live in Offenbach 1978. Singles that were released on June 20th include in 1957 when Buddy Holly released Words of Love. In 1964, the Beatles did a twofer. They released I'm Happy Just to Dance With You and I'll Cry Instead. In 1974, Steely Dan released Pretzel Logic and Queen released The Seven Seas of Rye. In 1975, Natalie Cole released This Will Be an Everlasting Love. In 1986, Steve Winwood released his classic Higher Love. In 1987, Los Lobos released La Bamba. 
In 1989, the B-52s released their classic Love Shack. In 1993, Aerosmith released Cryin'. In 2014, Metallica released Lords of Summer. In 2016, Mark Thomas released Selfie. In 2018, Angelic Montero released Because of You. And in 2019, Lil Nas X released Panini. Before we go any further, we'd like to tell you that there is now a Music History In-Depth podcast where we go more in-depth on a few of the events that happen in music history for that particular week. The Music History In-Depth podcast runs every Tuesday on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts from, as does our Music Halls of Fame podcast, which talks about a member of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame along with other Music Halls of Fame, museums, and walks of fame. The Music Halls of Fame podcast drops every Thursday and can also be found on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts. Now, back to this podcast. Artists who were born on June 20th include Adam Hahn of the 1975, Alan Longmuir of the Bay City Rollers, Amir Durek of Orgy, bassist John Taylor of Duran Duran, bassist Michael Anthony of Van Halen, Bassist Twiggy Ramirez of Marilyn Manson, Billy Guy of The Coasters, music producer and singer Bobby Nunn, Chino Moreno of The Deftones, classical composer Jacques Offenbach, Claudette Rogers of The Miracles, country music guitarist Chet Atkins, Danny Cedrone of Bill Haley and His Comets, guitarist Alan Shacklock, jazz musician Eric Dolphy, Jerome Earl Fontamias of Switchfoot, Kelly Johnson of Girl School, Murphy Cargis of Sugar Ray, pianist Andre Watts, pianist Jeremy Montiero, rapper Omaretta the Great, rapper Sage the Gemini, record producer Mickey Most, singer and actress Allison Porter, singer extraordinaire Miss Anne Murray, singer Benjamin Mascolo, Singer Brian Wilson of the Beach Boys, singer Dolores Lala Brooks of the Crystals, singer Jerry Keller, singer Kiera Shared, singer Kyle Ichari, and singer-songwriter extraordinaire Mr. Lionel Richie. Artists who unfortunately passed away on June 20th include viola player Carl Friedrich Abel, who passed away in 1787 at the age of 63. Composer Philip Napton passed away in 1833 at the age of 44. Composer Giovanni Ferno passed away in 1837 at the age of 89. Violinist Michael Umloff passed away in 1842 at the age of 60. Composer Cesar Dominicetti passed away in 1888 at the age of 66. Composer Theodore Laharte passed away in 1890 at the age of 63. Composer Vittorio Monti passed away in 1922 at the age of 54. Composer Joseph Leopold Roquel passed away in 1923 at the age of 85. Composer Wilhelm Poss passed away in 1925 at the age of 72. Organist Jehan Alain passed away in battle in World War II in 1940 at the age of 29. Composer George Frederick Boyle passed away in 1948 at the age of 61. Country music singer Ira Leuven of the Leuven Brothers passed away in 1965 at the age of 41. Composer Daniel Ayala Perez passed away in 1975 at the age of 68. Composer Alan Peterson passed away in 1980 at the age of 68. Composer Hans Studer passed away in 1984 at the age of 73. Pianist Malcolm Frager passed away in 1991 at the age of 56. Composer Nikolai Sedelnikov passed away in 1922 at the age of 62. Composer Dennis Gom passed away in 1995 at the age of 84. Lawrence Payton of the Four Tops passed away in 1997 at the age of 59. Cladis Charles Smith of Cool in the Gang passed away in 2006 at the age of 57. Composer Jerome Rosen passed away in 2011 at the age of 89. Blues and jazz singer Ottilie Patterson of the Chris Barber Jazz Band passed away in 2011 at the age of 79. 
Rapper Lil Snoop passed away in 2013 at the age of 18. Manager Bill Ham of the group ZZ Top passed away in 2016 at the age of 79. Singer Chaito Valdez passed away in 2016 at the age of 71. Rapper Prodigy of the group Mob Deep passed away in 2017 at the age of 42. And singer Hacer Tulu passed away in 2018 at the age of 40. Next on the Music History Today podcast, it is June 21st when in 2001, blues great John Lee Hooker passed away. 